Hi, good morning. Here is a presentation for you in which I am giving the details of the mechanism of enzyme action. By the end of my lecture, you are able to understand the activation energy and the knowledge about the enzyme substrate interactions and the formation of the enzyme substrate complex dissociating into the products and there are uh, other mechanisms which explains the mechanism of enzyme action. So, by the end of my lecture, you are uh, coming through all these uh, topics. So, coming to the enzyme substrate complex, so the enzyme uh, substrate that means uh, the enzyme molecule and the substrate molecules combine or react with each other to form a enzyme substrate complex which is the intermediate complex in a chemical reaction. So, the enzyme substrate reactions will be finished in the two steps. In the first step that is uh, enzyme combines with the or collides with the substrate and reacts to form a enzyme substrate complex which is intermediate complex. The here I am showing that this is a reversible reaction means at this point the enzyme substrate complex can be dissociated or can break apart into the enzyme and substrate that is why the first step is a reversible reaction. Ne in the next step an enzyme product complex is formed enzyme substrate complex is converting into the enzyme product complex by the catalyzing property of the enzyme. When the enzyme substrate complex is ready then enzyme product complex is formed by the catalyzing action of the enzyme. Finally, the enzyme substrate that is product complex is releasing the product. So, it is completing in two steps that is in the first step enzyme combines with the substrate forming the enzyme substrate complex, enzyme substrate complex converts into the enzyme product complex, enzyme product complex finally converts into the products. So, this is the basic reaction steps occurring in the enzyme substrate reactions. So, uh, is only the enzyme substrate are only participating or uh, is there any factor which is making the process uh, uh, that means uh, decreasing the time of the reaction is yes, there is enzymes not only combines with the substrate molecule it also uh, finish of the reaction biochemical reaction by decreasing the activation energy. We all know that all the chemical reactions require some amount of energy which is called as a chemical energy. It is the first push or to start the reaction this energy is required and this energy is called as the activation energy. In this diagram I am showing how this enzymes lowers the reactions activation energy. So, by combining with the substrate enzyme molecule before converting into the products they are also lowering the activation energy. So, the in the first diagram A without enzyme the lactose molecule uh, that is dissociating into glucose and galactose that means there is no activation energy without enzyme. Here only for the lactose he, that itself is dissociating into glucose and galactose, but with the addition of the enzyme lactase that is lactase the, that is the same reaction is occurring the lactose is dissociating into the glucose and galactose, but only the change is lactase is added to the lactose. See there is a difference between the act that is the activation energy from A to B. In, the, in that way we can change the 
activation energy from with uh, without uh, the enzyme or with adding the enzyme. So, with the adding of the enzyme there is a possibility in the decrease of the activation energy. So, through this only we can uh, the enzymes are performing the uh, biochemical reactions uh, very efficiently and the other factor is the substrate concentration. The, without the substrate the enzymes do not perform the biochemical reactions that is why the substrate concentration is also uh, very important for the biochemical reactions. When there is a increase in the substrate concentration there is a increase in the velocity of the reaction that means uh, there is a increase in the activity of the enzyme, but after reaching certain points it becomes uh, saturated then the enzymes uh, that is a substrate concentration becomes the limiting factor then the substrate must be added extraneously to the sub, uh, to the reaction. So, by increasing the substrate concentration to, uh, to reach the maximum velocity the for the perfect enzymatic efficiency the substrate must be continuously added in the biochemical reaction. To explain the mechanism of the uh, enzymatic activity there are two models that is lock and key model and induced fit model. Mm, that means, uh, uh, it is not a process it is a mechanism why we are calling it as a mechanism. Mechanism is something that is natural and it is a established procedure where uh, it is meant for to finish off certain things that is why we are calling it as a mechanism for enzymatic activity it is not a enzymatic activity processes. Coming to the lock and key model it is proposed by the Emil Fischer uh, in the lock and key model uh, we can uh, uh, say that there is a lock and key the term itself the it is uh, showing that there is something like a lock and key with a perfect key only we can open the lock. So, Emil Fischer postulated or presumed that the active sites of the enzymes are rigid structures. So, due to the rigid structures only the substrate is uh, not changing its uh, shape. So, certain uh, active sites only fit into the certain substrate. So, the active sites which are suitable to unique substrates only they fit into the active sites. So, there must be a perfect fit between the enzyme and substrate without this fit the substrate enzyme substrate complex will not be formed. So, it can be compared with the lock and key a, a suitable key only uh, opens the suitable lock that means, a suitable key is compared with the enzyme which will be fit into a uh, that is a perfect hole which is called as the active site which opens the lock that is the substrate. So, key is uh, enzyme, hole is the active site and the lock is the substrate. So, in this way the lock and key model explains the enzymatic action, but in this uh, mechanism uh, it is very good that there is no a change in the structure of the enzyme, but at the same time by perfect fitting that is binding between the enzyme and the substrate the enzyme substrate complex is forming and it is uh, uh, no longer the substrate fit into the enzyme it has to be dissociated. So, releasing the uh, enzyme freely and converting into the products. So, there is a evidences also for a existence of uh, this ES complexes. The electron microscopic study says that ES complexes are existing and the physical properties are also uh, uh, changing when the ES complexes are formed. So, through this also we can say that there is a formation of ES complexes in the biochemical reactions and the spectroscopic characters are also changes while formation of the enzyme substrate complexes. The stereo specificity of the enzyme complexes is are also having higher order reaction and they can be isolated in pure form. Apart from all this, this uh, um, lock and key model um, it, it, it is not uh, adequately explained the mechanism of the um, enzymatic activity because of the rigidity of the active site of the 
enzyme. So, as the enzymes are having a rigid non flexible structures called as the active sites. So, uh, without uh, uh, perfect fit between the substrate and enzyme, the enzyme substrate complexes will not be formed, but uh, this explanation will not be adequate. That is why Koshland proposed one model called as a induced fit model. So, according to it, um, that means uh, there is a mechanical interaction between the active site of the enzyme and the substrate. Of course, in lock and key model also, there is a uh, that is a mechanical interaction between the active site and enzyme. There we are saying that active site is a rigid structure, whereas in this uh, induced fit uh, model of the enzyme, uh, there is no change in the shape and structure of the enzyme. So, the enzyme changes upon exposure of the enzyme to the substrate, the enzyme itself changes the shape and uh, the substrate is fit perfectly into the enzyme for uh, forming the enzyme substrate complex. So, the shapes of the enzyme and the active sites and the substrate adjust to the maximum to fit uh, which improves the catalysis. So, here the shape is not rigid where uh, the shape is not rigid and according to the need of the substrate that is according to the substrate the shape of the enzyme is changing. So, amino acids aid um, in bringing of the uh, in bringing of the substrate to the active site. So, there is a greater uh, uh, range for the substrate specificity in the induced fit model. So, there are possibilities three possibilities for the conformational changes whenever there is a change in the conformation of the enzyme upon exposure of the enzyme to the substrate uh, in the first thing the enzyme must undergo conformation first then bind the substrate. In the second thing substrate may bound first later conformation changes both the process occur simultaneously. So, according to the coastland due to these three possibilities conformational changes are occurring in the enzyme substrate complex formation. So, here is a figure uh, this is the graphic representation we can take the example uh, induced fit uh, for induced fit theory. So, the mesenta color that is mesenta molecule uh, that is the green color where the enzyme protein is represented by green and cyan colors. So, the cyan colored protein is used more sharply to define the active site and the protein chains are very flexible and they fit around the substrate that is pink color. So, this pink color is fitting into the uh, that is uh, between the cyan and green colored structure because of the flexible structures of the protein. So, that is why in induced fit theory the enzyme changes according to the uh, uh, substrate uh, that is substrate. So, the conformational changes uh, brought by the substrate only not by the enzyme. Whereas, uh, in the lock and key model the active sites are uh, rigid structure non flexible structure. Whereas, in the induced fit model the structures uh, are not rigid and they are very flexible to uh, act uh, that, if, that means to bind the enzyme and the substrate to form the enzyme substrate complex. So, these are the two mechanisms exist uh, existing uh, and the most acceptable model is and more preferable model to lock and key theory is uh, that is induced fit model.